Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's oldest and largest solar media. We are here at InterSolar 2022 Gandhinagar. Joining us today is Mr. Prabhakaran Murugesan. He is from LNT Construction. Welcome, sir. Good morning, sir. Sir, first of all, I would like to know about LNT, how it came into solar industry. So, LNT, actually, we are a EPC company. I think everyone knows about LNT. And we started our renewable business in almost a one year decade experience we are having. So we started LNT in 2008 in solar. So and we have worked in various technologies in renewables. So we worked in a case of like in terms of a module in different types of technology in module. In terms of the module mounting structures also we worked on uh, fixed tilt, seasonal tilt and tracker based uh, uh, projects. And uh, slowly uh, from small scale utilities we uh, ventured into the larger scale utility right now. Also, we also worked in the solar pumps as well as the microgrids also we have done in India. And uh, now we are almost 5.4 gigawatt uh, portfolio we are having in India as well as in the Middle East market. All right, all right sir. Sir, next I would like to know about what is the outlook for next year and what, uh, what was the outlook for this calendar year this past? So this year actually we started in a very good notion after the COVID. And uh, there was a good number of tenders were there in the market in the renewables. Uh, both in the ground mounted projects as well as in the floating projects and uh, today uh, we bagged on a floating projects one of the PSG customers in India so the we are well placed in the floating also we have a portfolio of uh, uh, around 24 megawatt peak uh, plus we are having a portfolio in floating projects and recently we got around a 90 megawatt AC capacity floating project uh, recently and also in a ground mounted projects we are well placed and we are expecting few orders in this financial year for this year and moving on to the next financial year, we are anticipating uh, that there are good number of prospects of which we are anticipate. Around we anticipate around uh, two gigawatt almost a tender should be there uh, from floating as well as uh, from the ground mounted projects. Also, we are also expecting some energy storage system. Also, we are expecting tenders around one gigawatt tender from uh, GUNL as well as from the Saki. So we are also having an offerings for the battery energy storage systems. Also, we are having an offering. And we have an integration facility in uh, Kanjivaram in Tamil Nadu. So already we have uh, uh, supplied in Andaman as well as in uh, uh, Thailand for the energy storage system. So recently, last year we won from uh, GSEC around uh, 60 megawatt hour of uh, capacity battery energy storage system capacity. So we are well positioned in the battery energy storage systems, and we expect something will get materialized in the next financial year. Uh, sir, if we talk about the product showcasing for this year, will you please briefly elaborate? So, products actually, uh, as I was explaining, so we are uh, scaling only the ground mounted projects, specifically the focus on the ground mounted projects. And uh, recently, there are good prospects which are coming in the floating as well as energy storage system. So, we have an offerings like ground mounted utility tracker based projects and uh, floating based uh, projects, and as well as on the energy storage system. And recently, we are also working uh, for an hybrid models also, where we have a uh, you know, solar plus hybrid, so RTC solutions. So we are working very closely with a few customers to provide solutions on the round the clock uh, power solutions. So it will be like uh, solar plus wind plus battery energy storage systems. So these are our, our, our offerings. And in the end, I would like to ask if you, uh, 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 if you can explain uh, which foreign markets are you eyeing? So as I was explaining you, we already have a 2 gigawatt plus portfolio in Middle East. So we have a 300 megawatt in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. And also we are executing a project in Sudair. So this is more than 2 gigawatt plus we are having. And we are also discussing with a few clients in the Middle East. Okay, so we are expecting few things and a few orders from them. And we are well placed in the Middle East. And we are also venturing into the African market and Asian market actually. So we are focusing in both in African as well as Asian market. So Asian market actually the majorly the focus is on the floating because there are more prospects in Asian market on the floating uh, jobs because there is a land is a constraint actually. So there are more prospects which are coming on the floating side. So we are focusing, we are working with closely with a few customers on the floating in Asian and African market basically on the ground mounted uh, utility based projects we are working in the African market. 
All right, sir. So, if in the end, any comment on InterSolar 2022? So, InterSolar actually, uh, it was a good, uh, it's a good platform actually to uh, you know to showcase our capabilities and offerings. So, we uh, earlier we were participating in InterSolar, we had experience, and recently because of the COVID and other things, we could not able to do it. And after the COVID, this is the first event we are participating in InterSolar, and uh, it's a good event where we can uh, showing our capabilities and offerings. And it's a good platform to showcase us. So with this, we wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you for joining us and sharing your valuable views. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you.